Hi guys! It has been such a crazy May. I feel like I don't think I got a chance to go live with you guys at all in May and I've missed you so much. And it's only going to get crazier, honestly, as I get ready for our national UBAM convention in Tulsa next week. So I'm officially in organizing mode and packing mode and planning mode and it's going to get crazy. Exciting, but crazy. However, I just got this book for my kids and it is way cooler than I expected, which sounds so funny because I know that our books are awesome, but then every now and then I get one in the mail and it just goes above and beyond what I even expected. And so I wanted to share it with you guys really, really quickly because we are going to be learning all about time next year. And so I thought I would get some books about time. And then, like I said, I opened this one and I was like, wow. So here I am. I'm not sharing my face because it's like hot. It's hot today, you guys. So I'm just going to share the pretty, pretty books with you and you can imagine my face. But I want to show you inside Poppy and Sam's Telling the Time book. This is illustrated by Stephen Cartwright. So you know that you're going to find this little duck on every page. And this is really great for kids to play like the... um like the look and find kind of games with. And then it has this really cool manipulative clock so that as you go through the book, you can work with the face of a clock with the kids. And so here we go. This is Apple Tree Farm with Poppy and Sam. If you guys are not familiar with our Poppy and Sam collection, kids love them. They are constantly using the same familiar characters in these really adorable and easily understandable stories to help kids relate to things around them and vocabulary and learn new things like counting and animals and time and all that stuff. So here are Poppy and Sam and they're going to go through the book and learn how to tell time. Whoops, sorry plant. Okay, so as we turn the page, we get to go through a day in the life on the farm with Poppy and Sam. And they're asking their mom, Mrs. Boot, what time is it? And she says, it's 7 o'clock. And so as we go throughout the story, we can have our kids show us or we can show them what does 7 o'clock look like. And here's the part that I loved so much. I looked at this and I thought, oh, this is probably going to be like a flimsy, like they're just going to spin around, right? No, no. They click into place. Yeah, so your kids can set the time and they can be kids and they can move it around and do what kids do. And it's not going to be a frustrating piece for them. They can set the time, look at the pages, touch things, ask questions without that frustration. And as they go through their day, they're going to have all these different times that they can that they can create on their clock. Most of them are pretty easy. It's, it's usually on the hour, so it's a nice, easy learning tool, but sometimes they'll have them do um, like the half hour mark. So in the end, there's like a, there's an 8.30. And then sometimes on the page, there's also a visual of the clock right in the illustration, so they can kind of like have like a check your work moment. And the story itself, the Poppy and Sam books are really, really great for beginner readers because the language is simple and the words are easy and there are a lot of sight words. And so you could even do like a co-reading experience with your kids. So you can read the harder parts and then have your kids maybe do the words that they're, that they're speaking if they're learning to read. So this is Poppy and Sam's Telling the Time book. I'm so excited. Oh, I didn't show you the little duck. Let's see if we can find one of the ducks on the page. Okay, here it is. So on every single page, there's this cute little duck that they can find. <clears throat> super interactive, super fun to learn. I can't remember if I said it's a board book, so it's nice and durable. And I think everybody's going to love it, whether they are learning to tell time or that's way over their heads. They can just enjoy the story and the characters and the pictures or... They already know all about time, and this can just be something to help them feel confident about that skill that they already know. So thank you guys, bleh. <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining me, and I cannot wait to share my convention experience with you guys next week. Yay!